Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I will be reassembling uh, these rocker arms here. Uh, obviously, these if you have if you know what rocker arms look like they do not look anything like this for a Volkswagen, a vintage Volkswagen. Uh, but um, I have to get new rocker arms for my Volkswagen. Um, I am currently only running on two and a half cylinders. Uh, if you want to go see a video of that, you can actually go over to Glenn at Duckman Cycles and uh, check out his video of me driving on two, only two and a half cylinders. But what's going on is the my rocker arms on the right side of the car, which control, let's see, one and two, uh, cylinders one and two. Uh, one of the spacers in the uh, washers, I should say, kind of special washer spacer things, broke. Uh, I actually opened the valve cover and it was it was right there on the valve cover. It just broke right in half. So what's causing it's what what's happening is my rocker arm will will move. It'll jiggle, and what happens is the push rod will slip, and then it won't it won't be connected at all. So then what happens? I get a dead cylinder, um, <clears throat> and that cylinder is number two at the moment, which is why I'm only running on two and a half because cylinder number or three three is acting kind of funny right now, and I think it's because you know the one adjacent to it is not working at all. So. Thankfully, one of our new club members, his name is Milton, actually donated me these push, um, not push rods, uh, rocker arm assemblies. Uh, very nice guy. Gosh, I, I got Milton, if you're watching this, I really appreciated it. Uh, he donated these to me. All I have to do is just reassemble them, rebuild them. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is letting them soak in the uh, gunk carburetor parts cleaner for probably about, I'd say about maybe an hour. Uh, each so I'll be putting this in there first and then that following and reassembling them with the help of the official Volkswagen you know uh, repair manual and I believe this one let's see page so let me go into and just save my place here this one's for yep 66 through 69 you can tell this book has been through absolute hell uh, all of these books are second 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 third fourth hand Lord knows uh, but I'm glad I have them and it has an exploded view of the rocker arm assembly. So this will be helping me assemble these rocker arms today. And uh, yeah, guys, so pretty much first step is to be uh, open this up, let these soak in there. And I'll get back to you guys after I let them soak. Right, guys, so, so I'll let the rocker arm soak in the solution for probably about 45 minutes each piece. I'll let all those soak together, all these uh, the adjustment screws. But... Everything seems to be going pretty great right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean all this gunk off. You can see all this gunk here. It should come right off. Uh, that basically what that solution does, it's kind of the same as leaving your dishes soaking in hot water. It just makes everything easier to clean off. Uh, that stuff cleans it and anything that's on here will just come right off. It'll just literally just, it'll be nothing to, to take everything off. So I've never dis disassembled or reassembled rocker arms, so hopefully this goes smoothly, but I'll get back to you guys once I'm done cleaning it. All right. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I've already started assembling the rocker arms. I forgot to record the process of doing this one because, honestly, I forgot I was making a video. But um, if you've never uh, reassembled rocker arm assemblies, uh, the best way to reassemble them is to have a perfectly good pair next to you and just go off that. Um, I have perfectly good ones in the car, well, on the left side at least, and um, <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> uh, how to put this back together, and the exploded diagram really did help, but just in case you don't really get the diagram, you can see this middle washer here is very much different than the two on the left. It looks very kind of warped, and that's because it is. So you can see here... Um, on the other rocker arm, I kind of, I kind of just, just got them all together like that. Just kind of all just thrown in there. Basically what the order is, it is, um, it's the regular straight washer. Boom. And one on each side, but in the middle, sandwiched in between, is these bent ones. These are meant to be bent like this. Do not bend these back because they are actually meant to be this way. Because it kind of acts as some kind of like a spring, uh, as you can see right there, kind of like a spring. And they face, uh, they would face, let's see, that way. So it would compress like that. But you would actually have to sandwich those in between. And you'd put, you'd put the uh, whole, so it'd be regular washer, 
that's spring washer and then back to regular washer and in between here there is no washer it's it's just the straight rocker arm uh this space i'm just gonna call it a spacer this spacer here once again nothing there but over here there will be um springs um and then another cotter pin uh so yeah just in case you don't know what the order is it's regular washer that kind of bent spring washer weird looking one don't bend these back and then back and then another regular washer um by the time we get back i should probably be starting on this one or i might be done on it so let's see all right guys there it is check it out fully assembled rocker arm i'm still missing the nuts on here but i'll have to pull this off my old one but yeah i am pretty stoked on that check it out freshly rebuilt rock around this is gonna go on my car and uh, hopefully i'll be running on three cylinders and then later today i'll be running on all four thank god finally Whew. so let's go put this on my car guys right, so as you can see i got the old rock arm assembly off and here let me show you what the problem was with it all right so as I can, here, let me put some gloves on real quick. Right, so the problem I was having was, as you can see with these, when I shake them, nothing goes on. But when I go over here to this one, see that play? All right, so I got focused. See that play? That bendy washer and, and on this side here broke. And so the, what was happening was, while the rock arm was going, it was just shaking. Like that with that much play and boom uh, either this one or this one would it would be it'd be just enough for it to slip off and i'd have a, either you know dead exhaust valve or a dead intake valve so that is what was going on and thankfully these are off <sighs> hooray and this one is about to go into the car itself so i'll get back to you guys i'll have to right now i gotta pull these nuts off and put them on the new one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and put it back on the car. All right, so minor inconvenience. Two of these uh, nuts are stripped, so I gotta whip out the good old fashioned tap and die set. So now I'm just gonna tap these a little bit, you know, chase through them, um, and we'll get right back on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll get you guys back at the car. All right, let's get these on there. Oh, yeah. like a glove bless look at that guys went right in there and no wobble on the rocker arms at least so i'm gonna bolt these down torque them down to i think it's if i'm mistaken i think it's 18 foot pounds uh torque them down uh adjust the valves and get the car running all right that one's at 18. All right. Ah, come on. All right. All right, and that one's 18 as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tune these valves. I'm not gonna videotape it just cause this isn't a video on how to tune my valves, but I'll tune them and get the car running and who I'm so excited. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm actually inside the bug right now. So uh, what happened was uh, after putting on those rocker arms, I popped up the valve cover back on, tuned the valves, um, uh, you know, got everything ready to go and started the car up and it still didn't sound right actually. So upon further inspection, I go back, pop the valve covers off. I actually have a stuck valve. Uh, it's stuck open actually. Uh, it's not stuck closed or anything. It's stuck open. And I believe it's the intake valve on cylinder number two. So that is beyond what I personally know. Um, I'm still learning guys, so it might be something as simple as just hitting it with a hammer and you know getting it unstuck But uh, the tech session is coming up very soon. If you don't know the um, the club I'm in uh, rare Air and we'll coast Volkswagen club uh, We do monthly tech sessions where we just bring our cars and just work on it uh, And that's where Glenn is Duck from Duckman cycles if you guys know Bill Tucker um, Guy with the Pink Floyd bus. He'll be there um you know, more likely, uh, by the time this video comes out, it'll probably take place after 
uh, I'm sorry, it'll probably be released after the tech session. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that's just another uh, problem I've just encountered. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's, I mean, it, it is what it is. I'm glad I got that new rocker arm, though. That, that was a problem, and I did get it fixed. So I'm, I'm, at least, I'm at least glad I got that done. It kind of is a bummer that I do have that slick valve, but it, I mean, it is what it is, guys. So uh, hopefully, <clears throat> maybe we'll get it unstuck over at the uh, tech session video. We'll see. Uh, it's coming up soon. It's supposed to rain this weekend, though, so hopefully it's not, you know, all, you know, drear or, or whatever but yeah guys so I'll just give you guys an update as to why you guys got you guys didn't get to see the car running today um, in the video so yeah just another problem and I'll probably be documenting me getting on that valve and stuck as well <sighs> just just is what it is guys having Volkswagens so yeah guys if you like the video you know like comment subscribe thanks for being here guys like I said still getting used to this whole you know YouTube thing so I apologize for the really long intro but Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll see you at the next video.